the weekend. Are you ready to perhaps party like it's 1822, ladies and gentlemen? We've just learned plans for the city's bicentennial celebration. So it's going to be an all day event on Saturday, June 11th and the days leading up to it. <laughs> Renata Gregorio, she joins us live from outside of City Hall with the details whoa, of whoa. the celebration. Looks like she's celebrating already. Renata, you ready for Friday, huh? Ready for the weekend? Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I, I'm very ready. Very ready for the weekend. <laughs> this is funny, I'm getting an early start. But, you know, this celebration, the Bicentennial, is all about having fun, showcasing Jacksonville, the cool things like this that they have, and having a lot of fun. A lot of it will start here at Gerald and Johnson Park coming up this summer. Now picture these fireworks for a different reason, to say happy birthday, Jacksonville. You don't look a day over 200. This day would be filled with celebration, recognition, and promise for the future. Fireworks, music, exhibits, food trucks, downtown Jacksonville becomes a festival June 11th to showcase the bold city. Also, what's a good bicentennial badge without burying a time capsule? At an event June 10th, you can get the chance to do this. The bicentennial can be a shared experience for all of the people of the city of Jacksonville that propels our city to write the next chapters of our story. They are calling all food truck vendors and others to get involved. There's a sign up sheet on Jacksonville's bicentennial website, jacks200.org. This milestone birthday, I encourage everyone to look around and admire where we are today. In 1821, Florida became a U.S. territory, and the next year, Cowford was renamed Jacksonville, even though apparently Andrew Jackson had never been here. But he was the territory's first provisional governor, as stated on Visit Jacksonville's website, where you can learn more. So if you want to learn more already, you're just starting to get right into the bicentennial spirit. There are several different things on Jacksonville. I guess I should come back to you guys <laughs> on the Jacksonville Historical Society's website that you can check out. We're going to talk more about them in the next half hour. Live in downtown Jacksonville, Renata DiGregorio, First Coast News on your side. Renata, you made me a little nervous there. Awesome job. Seven minutes past the hour.